Kakarosh Boketov, Shavuatov, we're continuing with Alachot of Netilat Yadaim, Siman Dalet, Seif Kaf Aleph. Maran brings down Hatsarik Lizer Betfilao Bachila. A person has to be very careful whether it's going to be during the time of Tefilah or when he's eating. Right? So here it says in the Mishnah Bra also, not only Tefilah, Huadin, Torah. So whether a person is learning Torah or whether a person is saying Tefilah or a person is going to be eating. A person should be careful not to touch whether it's going to be his thigh or other places which are going to be covered in the human being. Because there is going to be whether it's sweat or other things which is dirt. Or to scratch his head. However though you're allowed to touch any parts of your face or your head or your arms, Right, which are usually uncovered, you do not have to be makpid. What are we referring to? Again, all these halachot, we're talking about that you would have a problem, that you would need to do netilat yadayim again, even though the Mishabara brings down says that, for example, even if you're in the middle of a meal, and you did netilat yadayim, you already did amotzi, and now all of a sudden you come, and you're touched, you're scratching your head, or you're touching other parts of the body, which normally you would need to do netilat yadayim. You do do netilat yadayim, but you do netilat yadayim without a beracha. So that's going to be very, very important. Now, when we're talking about touching different parts, there's going to be a few different makhlukot. First makhluk it is, what happens if you do it with one hand? So, for example, you're going to come, and you're going to touch with one hand. Let's say you're going to uh, scratch your head. Or with one hand, you're going to do something. So it says over here, the Kavach Haim brings down Meikar Adin. The only thing that needs Netilat Edaim is that one hand. But the Machmir, to do both hands, Tavo Lav Beracha. So says the Orlet Sion, when a person is going to touch their body, Bimkom Zeah, there's like a Ruach Tum'ah. And therefore, even though he did it with one hand, it could be that it's going on the entire body. And therefore, Lechatechila, you should do two hands. So according to everybody, whether it's going to be because of Tavo Lav Bikatov or because of Lechatechila, you should wash both hands. That's going to be number one, which is going to be very, very important. Now, what happens if you're going to put your hands, whether it's going to be in your nose or in your ear? So the Kava Chaim brings down that that is considered and therefore you need to do Netilat Edaim. But the Orlet Sion brings down, when do we say that you need to do Netilat Edaim if you put your hand in your ear? Only if you're putting your hands in your ear far enough where you have the wax where it's going to be inside. However, though, he comes and he says, if it's going to be Makom Chitsoni, which means on the outer, the entire outer part of the ear, you do not need to do Netilat Edaim. So again, these are just a few of them. There's going to be others, others as well, other Alachot as well that will continue. But again, this is just the basics that a person should be careful what they're touching, whether it is when they're going to be doing Torah, Filah, or eating, in order that they shouldn't have to come and start doing again uh, Netilat Yadayim.